Well, welcome back uh, to the Mind Cracker. We're back, guys, on the Mind Crack server, and we're going to be doing some more work. Actually, I've been doing a decent amount of work off camera, and we'll go over the things I've done since last time we had an episode. Let's take a look at what our Iron Golem farm has netted us. Right there, we have enough iron for a stack of iron blocks. So I'm actually going to do that. Oh, why is that not on? I'm going to make a stack of iron blocks, and we're going to add it to our beacon below, the ones uh, the ones that we're missing, and then we'll probably have some left over. I've got the little acacia wood farm here so we can make some more of these trees. Let's see, what to go over... Hello, zombie. What to go over first? Okay, first things first. I added... A randomized road, a little white road, which circles down. It looks pretty cool. When I first made it, I was like, I don't know, it looks kind of bad. And then I, I logged out for the night, and I came back, and I was like, oh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. Spirals down. I have not added any of the blue-colored glass yet. That has yet to be done, and there's no jack-o'-lanterns to light it underneath, like, uh, like this right there for a little... A little recessed lighting, haven't added this type of stuff. But we can uh, trace its way down. So I think maybe in this shelf and this shelf, we're going to have some fairly extensive horse stables and breeding centers eventually. Uh, probably need to be expanded a little bit, maybe a little too cramped for the horses. I don't want them to be claustrophobic. And there are no guide rails in my base, thank you very much. Eventually, this will go all the way down, so you can ride a horse down to bedrock or back up. Let's go take a look. Uh, I believe there should be a crafting bench down here. So I've done quite a bit of haste mining. Haste 2 beacon mining with a efficiency 5 pick. This layer is totally done. Uh, a lot of the stone from this has been used on the base above and on the nether hub expansion. And then down here, this is mostly done. There's a lot of lava pools down at this level. So it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. This corner still has to be finished. And I guess this corner, yeah, there's still some stone to be acquired there. Anyway, let's turn this iron into some blocks. Then we can start thinking about how to acquire, well, we know how to acquire beacons, right? We've got to kill the wither boss. But... Under what scenario will we kill him? What type of fight will it be? Let's see. Oh, hi, zombie. Where'd you come from? This area should be totally bright. One, two, three. Torch grid is in place. Anyway, uh, that's not important. Let's see. Now, the idea was to have four beacons... And I'm trying to see, do we expand in, in this direction or in this direction? I'm thinking in this direction. Well, if this isn't the correct direction, uh, we can fix that another time. Basically, I just need to do like this. I guess I could get these gold blocks out of here as well. So we have a pure iron base. And we'll need to do this. So this should be, what, like a... A 10 by 10 iron block pyramid, something like that. And get all this gold back. Maybe we'll find something else to do with this gold. I put this in the bottom to try and hide it. But now we can have a totally pure, a totally pure beacon base. And that's only the start. I also, I'm going to need another beacon. Oh, it went all the way through here. Okay. I'm going to need another entirely full beacon because I'm going to run out of stone here. And I'm going to need another beacon that I can move around to create more stone quarries, basically. So I can get a lot more stone uh, for the acquisition. Or, you know, to continue to, uh, to fund my bases. Oh! Beaconator. That's an achievement. I did not know that. Create a full beacon. Look at that. Uh, we'll have to keep this in mind for the rules that matter. 
video series. I have to take a look and strategize a little bit. I didn't even think that far ahead. All right, did I break any torches? One, two, three. I'll just put one there. Okay, so that should be, that. I think that's full, right? We should have a spot right there and there. And then these probably, did we lose our beacon bonuses? We still have speed, jump boost two, and regeneration. So they seem fine, even though I broke them. This is, I don't know what the what exactly is going on here when it won't always show you what has been entered. Like, it's not, it's not telling me what's, there it goes. Now it's showing me jump boost two in this one. You just have to basically click on it continually until it shows you speed regeneration. So breaking those blocks didn't do anything. All right, and we've got 14 of those, and we've recovered 22 gold blocks. All right. Okay, so that's one thing I did off camera is I added that quartz stair that wrapped around there. And I still need to add the, the blue glass and stuff. And uh, I want to do a little bit of work on the terrain. And then maybe next episode or fairly soon we'll try to get B-double-O in here again to work his magic on customized trees and other things of that nature. And we don't even need to take the ladder anymore. We can take the road. Look at that. It's not the most direct. I still need some kind of... Uh, you know what? You know what? I may replace the the uh, the Ender Vader, which we used to have, or the Ender Ascender, I think is a better term. I originally wanted to have an Ender Ascender here. Uh, unfortunately, there were changes. I think the change was that ruined it was that uh, your, Ender, your Ender Pearl, when you throw it, will now hit the string, which connects the tripwires... Uh, I think that was the problem. I don't remember. It's been a while since I worked on it. But I think maybe we can make a bounce elevator with the new slime block mechanics. Maybe that's what we should do. I still want a, a quick vertical ascending uh, transport system thing. All right. Let's put these in my inventory or in my, you know, my storage upstairs. We still have these trees here. So we are now on the 14W20B snapshot, I believe. Mojang recently released the 14W20B snapshot. It has a number of neat features. Let's go over them. They're mostly command blocks. You take the command block and you click on the command block. <laughs> um, look at that. All right, we are back in business. Another thing I wanted to check, because we changed snapshots, I used to have item frames all over these. And I had to take them down because I think it was a bug. Let's get the axe out. Good for breaking the signs. Uh, there was a, some kind of bug. Yes, it's been fixed. Where the item frames in the snapshot we were in previously, the, the item frames would take up the whole hitbox for that block. So it was basically like, it was like having that there. You couldn't click around it, right? See how I, well, okay, that's not a, <laughs> see how I can't click the chest here? Um, only if I'm right next to it. But if I have, uh, if I have blocks all, all over everywhere, I can't click on any of those chests. And so the, the item frames were kind of doing that, which was kind of annoying. But now that we've changed snapshots, Let's see, which one was this for? Let's get an iron block uh, ingot. Yes. Okay, good. It works again. What chest was this? This is the planty stuff and the food. Eventually might need to separate those. Okay, good. I can update that. That's very good. It's much easier to see what's in them from a distance, right? That's lovely. Oh, I'm so glad that has been updated and fixed. All right, we can put these signs in the made of wood box. And I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, another thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another thing I've been working on is the Nether Hub expansion. I think I'm actually gonna just going to save that for another episode. Because uh, it's mostly the kind of stuff you've seen me doing before. So I'll, I'll save that for another episode. But one of the things I've been doing is I've been starting to add the, the pretty exterior. The white stained glass exterior for our Iron Golem farm to match the styling of our other farms. This takes a lot of sand. I don't know if I've 
adequately. I mean, I think I've shown in previous videos me going back and forth to the desert to uh, to get sand and how much it takes. This build has taken a stupid amount of glass. So this thing by itself took three trips to the desert, and each trip I get about 40 stacks of sand. And so that's 120 stacks of sand, more or less. And I had to smelt it all and then dye it all with bone meal, which I couldn't have done without this guy supplying me with lots of bones. Uh, so yes, lots of glass, but now we need to get rid of that scaffolding. All right, let's pick up as much of the dirt as we can. So all the scaffolding is done. The bottom part of it is finished. Basically, we just need to set up the means for dropping all the water along the outside. Let's see how, my, how many, let's see, redstone dispensers, droppers. We need dispensers and way more of them. Okay, how about... Spider string. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a problem. We need a spider string. Well, looks like we're going caving. I I don't know of any spider spawner trap farm thingamajob automated system on the server. What am I doing? That's my fortune pick. You don't use that on that. So we're going caving. There's a, uh, a mine shaft I was digging around in, which is a good source of string. I don't know where any spider spawners are. So, that means we're going mineshaft caving, which I already got distracted from. I was like, ooh, I see shiny things and lava pits. Uh, but I, I do need to pick up basically all the coal I can find. I could set up one of those fancy smancy lava auto smelter glass things. And there, are, there actually is one on the server already, the generic bee built. But uh, I prefer getting the experience out of it. And I don't like using lava as a fuel source because... I feel like lava is a precious, valuable commodity. I don't want to use it up <laughs> if I can help it. The only time I ever get rid of lava is when I need obsidian. And then I'm just like, I'm using, I'm repurposing the lava for something else. I'm not really getting rid of it. I'm just, it's being transformed into a beautiful butterfly. So of course, I'm not getting string right now. I'm getting everything else besides string. I'm getting iron, even though I have a iron golem farm. I just can't help myself. There's some coal. I have a bunch of stuff, uh, so here's my current, there's some coal there as well, which I'm not going to grab. Here's my current caving theory strategy setup. This kind of stuff I bring with me, here's the mine shaft. I need to, uh, I need to access my ender chest here in a second. Anyway, I keep hearing these spiders. They're in the current, uh, I don't know if it's just the snapshots or what, but like, I, I get this, this thing where like, Chunks do not load in in the orb in the order you would want them to, i.e. the ones that are closer. That's a real problem. You have to log out and log back in. Actually, let's do that. There, better. Okay, I keep hearing these spiders and Oh, look at this big open cave. If they are cave spiders, I want to take care of them. The fact that I'm hearing multiples makes me think that unless there's a normal Spider spawn around here, which actually would be kind of handy. I want to let's uh, before we update our inventory, let's see if we can find them grass. Oh, yeah. Okay, cave spiders. Well, you can get you can get string from them. It's just a little bit harder to. Oops. It, yeah, take that sucker. It's a little bit harder to farm them without taking a lot of damage. Let's retreat here. Oh, you lost track of us, huh, Creeper? I have not done any caving on this server in some time. I've been existing just with the uh, the farms I have set up. Look at that! I hit his toe around the corner. There's all kinds of goodies here. Look at this grass in the in the mine shaft. That's awesome. Where is your spawner, punks? Gotta be there. It is. Hi. And there's at least one that's still spawned. Maybe two. I don't think they know where I is. There might be another spawner here as well. Um, and I don't want to light up too much without... Ooh, look at all this nice string, though. I don't want to light up too much. Oh, here he is. Hiya! Got you. I got you. 
I don't want to light up too much because then I'll forget to come back and get all the nice good stuff. I'm actually, okay, tell you what, in case I want to farm this guy, there's a, bu there's a bunch of other cave spider spawners on the server that I've found, but I haven't kept track of the coordinates. So just in case I want to automate some string acquisition, I will take the coordinates right there. And that should be... Uh, that should be bright enough so that no more spawn. I think there may be one more around the corner. And let's see what's in here. We have a little of that, a little of that. And I always make sure to pick up the rail lines because that means I almost never have to make them. I only have to make the booster rails. I want to clear out, clear out this area. I haven't forgotten about the, uh, the little thing I was talking about, my uh, my mining kit that I like to go out with. Oh, but now I'm out of torches. Okay, we're, we got to back up anyway. All right, let's back up to about here. Should be fine. And then I always carry... Okay, so here's my my current caving kit setup that I like to go with. I always carry an ender chest. I always carry wood. I always carry coal, even though you're probably going uh, to get a bunch of coal just from the caving itself. I like to bring some at the outset, just in case I don't run into any. So you need wood so that you can make at least the crafting bench, or you can just bring a crafting bench and a bunch of sticks. That's kind of a more lightweight setup. And then, basically, I like to convert things into condensed blocks and then store those in my ender chest. This is not the best way to convert them into blocks, but you get the idea. Um, as long as we get it down to... There we go. So there we go, 46 of those. Then we'll convert these into blocks. So I carry a fortune pick to get the most out of everything. Some people like to cave with a silk touch pick and then fortune it later. That is, that's like double dipping. You're going to have to use each pick once when you could have just used one pick once. Uh, so I store the blocks there in my inner chest. There's a bunch of other random crap in here from other stuff I was working on. Uh, these aren't full stacks, but we'll go ahead and put them in there anyway. Picked up 49 strings so far, not so great. Oh, that can go into blocks as well. So I have a silk touch pick, which is mostly only for picking up the ender chest. That's its only function. This is way more wood than I actually needed. Uh, but a well. Okay, so now that that's done, we should actually, whoops, I need, uh, <laughs> I need the coal to make the torches. Okay, stuff's coming for us. We need to be a little bit more snappy with our stuff here. Let's get a move on. Uh, what else was I going to do? We have torches. Okay, Silk Touch. I should probably rename that Silk Touch so I know which one is Silk Touch. And then we can even... Oh, look at this. Use an axe. If you run out of wood, if you're in a mine shaft, you don't really need to bring wood. Just bring an axe. Look at all this wood. Uh, I just sort of brought, like, one of everything. So this may seem like I'm bringing a lot of stuff, but because I'm com converting everything into their uh, condensed block form, like the coal block, redstone block, etc., and then storing it in the ender chest is actually a lot more... Uh, I have a lot more storage capacity than normal, and so I can cave for a pretty long time without ever coming back. I can just continue to store stuff in the ender chest in a condensed form. I'm hearing more spiders. I'm going to think right here. I feel like I'm about to get poisoned. Whoa! Yeah. I did not bring any torches with me. Or torches. Yes, I brought torches. I did not bring any potions. Now that um, health regen is back on... I haven't really felt the need. You just have to be a little bit careful when taking on these little spider dungeons. Oh, look at this. This is uh, this is another one. I don't really think I'm going to need that many dispensers in the long run to set up anything automated, but I'll go ahead and screenshot that as well. Let's see, that's my fortune. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll just do this. There we go. And we'll scoop up all this goodness. No more baby spiders, please. They're not that big of a deal if health regen is on. If health regen is off, 
They are a nightmare. Uh, and thankfully, well, actually, I did, I did kind of enjoy caving with health regen off because it makes it a little bit more tense. You have to really pay attention to what's going on. So we don't need uh, fortune for that, obviously. More gold. I don't have my gold farm set up yet, although I do have like 22 blocks of gold. Now that I recover those from the beacon. We've got all kinds of coal here. I do go through a lot of coal with all the glass I smelt. And it's a good source of experience for fixing up my picks and whatnot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basically be doing this for the next hour or so. And I'm gonna farm up a bunch of string, not just for the what we're working on right now, but for the future. Because I will need more dispensers in the future for basically similar reasons. For pouring out water um, for the uh, you know the shrouds or whatever you want to call it for the different farms. And then once I get a decent amount done, or I get sick of caving, or whatever. We'll go back to some building. All right, little guy, come on through. I think I'm close to capacity of the amount of things I can carry before I have to head back if my ender chest hadn't been half filled with crap, if I had bothered to empty it out before I came. Could have carried back some more, found this nice big open cave. I was actually, I was just gonna resume Recording once I got back to the arcology, but I found this place. I thought wow, that's that's pretty whoa another another creepers Lots of monsters in here. I found this nice big open cave. No, 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 no another one Line of sight line of sight fight with the creeper tonight. I Found this nice huge open cave, and I thought we might as well show it for the video Because it is it's uh, it's one of the bigger caves you're gonna find in the Minecraft Caves of this type. I guess it's uh, it's several different caves kind of intersecting during world gen, isn't it? And it looks like there may be a ravine here as well. Yes, ravine. Oh, I just placed that block somewhere I did not intend. Let's give it a light. This is gonna be basically the last cave that I explore. Uh, what happens? When I run out of room in my inventory, in the middle of a caving run, and I, like I, I know that I left a lot of stuff, what I'll do is I'll pillar straight up, and then I'll look at the base of the pillar once I'm back up on the surface. I'll turn on F3 like this, yeah, like if this was the top of my pillar, and I'll just screenshot it so I know where to go to resume. But it looks like, uh, yeah, I'm about out of inventory space, and I'm I'm using a lot of torches in here because we're still close to my base, and I want to light up as many caves as possible to make my mob farm as efficient as it can be. Uh, but I think this is going to be it, and then I'll I'll take what I can from this place. We'll see you back at the arcology in just a minute after I murderize all these gun. Damn monsters! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get you sooner or later, gold suit. Gold suit man and creeper. Down here in the cave trying to blow up my iron. So that was kind of fun. Haven't gone caving in a while. Here's the, uh, the total haul. Let me put away some miscellaneous stuff that doesn't count because I took it with me. Okay. So, uh, we went there after string, and we brought back almost three stacks. And before that, before I decided to go caving, I managed to to wrangle up a stack there, so we could make at least a 64 bows and then 64 dispensers, and that should last us a little while. I think for each of these, I'm only using like 10 to 15 dispensers per one of these things. So that means we can build like four or five more farms. This guy's bigger because he's has a very large radius, he's not as tall. Gonna need more for him, probably. Um, but we can make a stack of dispensers, that's pretty good, and still have some string left over. I happen to have these things, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do something with these guys coming up. But that's what we got, uh, that much string. Okay, doesn't this look nicer, by the way, now that I have those signs out? 
Signs taken off of there. It looks so much better. It displays what's actually in the chest. I brought back 32 blocks of lapis lazuli. Uh, well, I guess I, I've got f up to four stacks then. Uh, we brought back a little bit over a stack of gold ore and five ingots, 22 iron ingots, 22 diamonds. We weren't down deep enough very often for redstone and diamonds. That's not really what we were going after. Um, but we did bring back some. So I need to, I need to actually organize this thing. This has not been organized, obviously, since I moved my inventory stuff up here. So we actually need to do something like this. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to organize the whole thing right now, but I need to do something like that, basically, where we have a full stack of those guys. I may have to make a shop in town to start selling stuff. I managed to find diamond horse armor. That is only my second piece of diamond horse armor to date. This is also not organized. Uh, I also brought back a music disc just because. And I brought back an enchanted book. I found, a, I guess, a skeleton spawner at some point. Fortune 2, sharpness 3, knockback 2. I thought that would be good for a weapon um, for the sharpness and knockback. I have been collecting any... Uh, Z zombie flesh I've got, and I've started keeping that because it's good for village trading. And spider eyes are just hard to come by unless, you know, because I don't have a... Oh, I did not need these. I have a I have a mob farm. Did not need the bones. But if I ever need those for potions for whatever reason, I have them. I've got a couple name tags. And then the ender chest. Kaplow! Four stacks and change. Blocks of coal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Nearly seven full stacks of iron ore. Don't need that because I got the farm, but whatever. It's fun. It's fun to go go uh, farming for stuff. If I didn't have this crap in there, um, <laughs> I could have brought back more. Could have could have caved for longer. It looks like I need to smelt this up. Look at that. Pow, 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 pow. Look at all that diamond. I think I need to make a store in uh, kind of like Bling Mart. I'm gonna, maybe I'm going to make Blinger Mart. <laughs> it's going to be like Bling Mart, but Blinger. Uh, to sell some of this extra stuff. And then, where does it, where am I keeping these rails? I guess in here. I don't have a dedicated chest for rail card stuff. So, three stacks of that. Okay, last thing I want to do. I want to make a stack of dispensers. So, we're going to need three stacks of string. Three stacks of sticks. Uh, that's not going to be enough. So, let's make a lot of sticks. Better to do things in bulk. Do it all at once, then you don't have to do it as often. Okay, so we're gonna need those three stacks to make a stack of bows. Then we're going to need, I think, seven stacks of cobblestone. Do I even have that? Yes, oh, <laughs> thank goodness. I run out of this stuff quick because I'm always smelting it into stone bricks for various things. One, uh, I'll keep that one there as my blocks use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then we need a stack of redstone dust. I do declare. Right? Okay. Good. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I guess we can try it like this. Let's just see how this works. Oh, uh, let, let me back up a second. Let me do this and this. So if I drop things, I want them to drop here, so I automatically pick them back up. We're going to try something. I, I didn't really do a test run of this to find the most optimal way to do it. Um, mm, can I can I cue that? Oh, I can. I can cl click cue to drop it, and they're ending up above me, but I guess that's okay. I just want to be able to pick them up easily. Okay, good. So we have a lot of those. Did I make the full stack or not? I see string there, so maybe I didn't. But we have a lot. Uh, then we can do this. Put all these in place. I should have filled up my inventory with the other stuff. Uh, and then we want a stack of that. So we want to go bloop, 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 bloop. So I'm hitting the two button. The ones I'm picking up are ending up in the empty slot there. And this will work until I run out of ones to pick up. Then I, maybe we'll have to move up there to where the other one is. Uh, this is kind of the quickest way I could think to do it. 
I could probably make this a little bit more efficient by having like ones of, I don't want the bows here. I'm not gonna be able to hit two to do this for those. So I should have put like a, a single piece of cobblestone in all those slots or something like that to keep them from getting filled. But I think this will work fast enough anyway. We have five minutes until they start to despawn. Will we get all of them? Find out next time, bat friends. Same bat time, same bat channel. Okay, 34. Whoops. Uh, okay. Yeah, we did not make all of the bows. Okay, at this point, crap. <laughs> um, that's a dropper. I don't want a dropper. Mm, okay, we can do it again. Uh, crap. I think I messed it up. Um, okay. Oh, I don't have any redstone now. I dropped the redstone. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> I messed it up. Uh, ideally, all this stuff should be in this hole and not, like, up there. Let's do this and this and this. I guess we'll just drag these in. Oh, okay. We made the right thing. Uh, let's just, I guess, pick them up manually. Next time I do something like this, I'll, I'll set up something better so that this works a little faster. The first 32 of them or whatever went by quickly enough. Uh, but I guess this about wraps up this episode. I had two more bows to make, I guess. I did not drop them all on the ground. This about wraps up this episode. Next time, next time, uh, we'll continue working on getting the, the glass and water cladding around our villager farm. What I do? I don't want droppers. No! Oh, I messed it up. Okay, but now I have enough inventory space to pick all this stuff up. I definitely screwed that up. Oh well. I <laughs> I may need some droppers at some point, so that's okay. How many did we end up with? Let me grab some more redstone and just finish this off. Redstone there. Two. Three. Three more, and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll make two, bo two more bows, then we'll be done. Um, boop, 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 uh, We'll continue working on the the cladding, I guess you would call it, for the, the farm, uh, the iron golem farm, to be more specific. And we'll also continue working on the trees and the paths and everything else around here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah, this path. I do like the way it looks now. It needs. I need to add the uh, the different colored blue glass. But I think it's looking all right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye bye.